Okay, uh, all right, guys. Um, a quick one. Um, uh, this time there was a video I did yesterday on regarding to Vimis and updates. Um, this is a continuation. I quickly want to show us um, how to how to um, make use of the controller. And a quick one. Let me just quickly uh, do the setup and let me quickly show you how you can get the code. I can do the setup and all that. So watch with me. Let's see what it is so first of all you need to launch your uh, your vmix um, i'm currently using vmix 24 just in case you need it's available you can let me know and now uh once it's up the next thing to do okay i'm going to reload my programs now let's for example this is what we are working on right okay so now at this point what you just need to do um is to go to the setting put your setting um, bam, 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 bam. all right now what's up all you need to do is to click on web on web controller now once you click on the web controller you see all this that is that over here all right so now what we mean is this web this website address okay so this is the code we need and mind you uh when you are mind you when you are once you copy this code okay one and you put up your system and all that this code all, all right this code changes all the time okay once you copy the code Maybe another time want to use it, the code will change. So the, the code you use on the first time will not be the same code you are going to use the next time. Okay, so just get that code then will change. So anytime you want to like make use of it, so just come here, copy the code, come to your browser and it open it. It will work fine. Alright? So now this option is saying allow access allow access to the following pages without login. This, we have this, we have this, we have this, we have this, and we have this, right? Alright, so let's click on OK. Now, I've copied the code. So the next thing for us for us to do is to the next thing for us to do now is to send the code to a browser. Maybe let's check this. You open your browser. Then the next that training. This training we're gonna. Then the next one, just push, push, uh, push, push the code here. And click on enter. So once you click on enter, you don't see that you don't have any control. This is the interface. This is what you see. Okay. So for us to let us see how it functions. So let's minimize this. Okay. Once you minimize this, uh, check out this. Right. All right. So now that's the function. So now I can you see how it how it's working, right? Yes. Yeah, so this how you can use your web browser on your laptop to control. Now, um, let's check on this. Let's check on different programs. We have this one. We click on this one. So you now find out that you have your output here. This your output, which is which is big, which is this, this program here, right? So now, if I click on video one, this is the video one here, this is the video one here. If I click on video one, video one play. If I click on video two, two play. If I click on three, two play. Two, four, and so on, right? So now, this uh, V1, I'll show you this is video one, this is two, this is three, stuff like that. So now, we also have a uh, we also have a uh, tool like this. Uh, we have the uh, uh, we also have this type to right. So this type so this is four right. This is what it is. This is this one four all the four are the titles. Which is this one. This one is this number five. This six six is this one. Okay, which is this. Okay, so now 
the next thing to do is uh, if you want to use uh, if you want to use your system this particular system to do the running is fine but i would recommend i probably use another system or use another phone use a phone to, to do the control but the best practice is using a phone to do the control and all that so the next thing we are going to do now haven't seen how it functions okay i will see how it functions uh the next thing for us to do the next thing for us to do is to send this code uh, okay this is a preview this is a preview so anything you put on preview that's what we need to display okay this is a preview and all that you are the program of preview right so now this number one two three four is same thing as this number one two three four right one two three four anything you put on number one okay that was going to show up these are videos so these are the titles and all that if i click on number four you see that it's already showing on the screen if i click on number five you see that from five showing on the screen from number six you see that it's already showing on the screen so if i use number two the same program see this number and this number right okay now if I don't even want to use a controller, I click on number one here. You see that number one has shown right. So number one here, number one here. You see that shown right. So now it's now left for you to know the particular option you are going with. But I would recommend, highly recommend you use your phone. The flexibility is just there. Flexibility just to okay. So what you do if you want to use your phone? So the next thing for us to do if you want to use your a phone to do the control is what you just need to do is to copy this code and send to your phone <coughs> you can send to your phone okay let me quickly show us how to use it on the phone so the next to do is um next to do is to copy the code down to your phone so just click on please just copy and send two ways to send you said i send directly to your phone Send to your device. This is my device. I will send to my device, and I will receive notification on my phone. Or you copy the code, use your WhatsApp, send to your WhatsApp. This is how I normally do it. Send it to my WhatsApp. Then I will receive the code. Okay, I will receive the code on my phone. So let me quickly show you. Uh, that I've received the code on my phone. Go to my phone. Uh, the one I sent to the web, I think it has not shown. I've not received it, but let me go through my WhatsApp. I think I received it in my WhatsApp. Okay, I received it in my WhatsApp. So this is now the code. So what we're going to do copy the code, go to your browser. Now, paste the code here. Paste the code. Automatically, it will now take you to this interface. Not take to this interface. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'll receive it. I'll receive this one. Okay, it's not working. I think. Um, two things are involved is either the, the the network or the code has changed so let me quickly refresh and see if it will function if it doesn't function then i'll go and check the code from the code i will know what's happening if the code has changed or it's a network problem okay i'm not receiving it let me try to change my network uh, let me check my network if i'm using okay, i'm using my personal phone network let me switch this one let me try okay now let's check let me try another thing i mean let me, let me try another thing entirely uh, okay. 
let me check the code if it's code if the code has changed you now go to the system and go to web controller this is 1.7838 go to my phone check this is 1.6 1. 1. okay 1.192.168.0178 or FPPH controller, I think it's correct. Let's try it again. I think it's network. If it happens like that, it might be that the network is bad. So the user must have a strong network to have access. Okay, connected on one network for another network. So let's check. Alright, I told you. Okay, you, you cannot see that it's a network problem, right? Okay, now. I've successfully connected to my phone, right? Alright, why? Let me restore my phone. Let me restore my my system data, my system network. You must make sure you have you have a strong network. The network is functioning fine. Okay, well, in a minute I'm connecting to my network, my system network. Uh, okay, it's showing no network. Well, let's check if it's working fine. Alright, so now at this point I want to check. Okay, it's working, it's working, it's working. So the best thing I can do now is for me to use another phone to, to show you how it to show you the functionality so at this point this is my system you can see that I just now so yesterday I did the for them to click that show again so this is actually my system so we have a system now my system here we have my phone so now what happens that this is the controller to so configure that or entirely so now just like I explained before I don't to explain this again so now if I click on if I click on um, Video okay. one. See that video two. Right. Click on video two. Click on three. One, two, one, two, three. Stuff like that. You see that? So I click on approval. I click on uh, title. I have a title here. Command preview. So I click on. Preview, go back to view V1. Um, we don't fall, we don't fall like this. So, I'm gonna change it, change it that and all that. So, that's how you do it, that's how you set it up. And you can see now that it's absolutely working fine. Quick one, quick one. Okay, the reason why it's not working because I'm on V2, V2 preview, preview is V2. I have this video so it's not work. So what we're gonna do is we we'll change it. So I'm gonna change this program and want to do a quick preset in one. Working. Manage. Wide. Zoom. And all that. So so that's how it works. So another thing we can actually do again. Another thing we can actually do is to come back to to section here. These are all the programs. These are all the programs we have. So, so these are all the programs we have here. And now, if I, if I come here, these are programs. If I come to title, another beautiful thing I want to show us is something like this. Very, very important. Now, this title we can actually edit this title. We can actually edit this title on my phone. So I can come here and say, okay, this title. Um, I want to change the program of oh, okay probably let's see first for uh, the T4 I want to change it maybe probably um, by this T4 I want to edit this name right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I can do that on my phone and I can still do it on my on the system but let me try let me teach you how to use my phone so it's a very simple thing uh, what you just do okay this is a uh, title element title element which is t4 okay i will just come here and double tap 
you see the power sacrifice which is the same thing as the power sacrifice so probably i want to edit it i can come here and clean this let's see um the, let's say uh the power to get wealth part one part one okay this is the message title right so i can try this you can see message title or that's title so once i click on update here you can see that this has destroyed is it immediately updated on the system right all right so now that's how it works that is how it is. works absolutely okay so now we've done that okay let's go back to t again everything to red okay who is the minister maybe this is uh maybe pastor um let's see pastor wally okay um, uh, um, really stuff like this ministry right so once i click on this is what we have let's change it back this is what we have here before right on this on the on the left so once i click on update you can see it has updated on the system so you can actually just use your phone eventually to do to do the typing blah 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 and all that this on the title want to you know, probably want to edit and all that so if i just click on update and I come back to my system and I click on this. You don't see that those things I attached to my phone here is already showing on the system. So it's very very simple and efficient for us to do so. Now what you should note, what you note is um, you um, have to copy the code. Let me quickly go back there again to recap. Go back to setting. Go back to web controller. This. You see that. So now. With this thing now, okay. Once I close this system, I reopen it again. This code will change, so don't you will not you will not be able to use the first code that you use originally. So please kindly know that. So apart from that, I think uh, apart from that, I don't think I don't think we have another thing else. Those are just the major thing, the major things you are supposed to know regarding the the web controller and all that. So copy the right code don't try try not to copy one or the other or to type it i will already, you can type it that's fine to so copy it you type the type the exact uh, character is very fine but you can't but you can just copy to your whatsapp and maybe you can just send it to your web uh, to, to web or web, which means you want to send it uh, but make sure the code wait because it's not correct it's not going to work copy the right code or just type the right code and it works Fine. So that does the, that the update on this web controller and all that. So if you have any questions, if you have any issues regarding to this effect, so kindly let me know. I will still put us through. Okay, thank you very much.